Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and I know it is Monday but I tweeted out yesterday that I will replace all the deep web videos on Monday from the entire month of August with deep web. So every Monday this entire August you can uh, expect a new Vegas 14 tutorial and you know when September starts I'll be going back with deep web videos on Monday. Entire August we have a Vegas tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to remove or how to make objects disappear like you guys saw in the intro. So so I'm going to start off by um, dragging in uh, the footage that I'm going to use, which is going to be this one. And this is the clip. Wait, this is not the clip. Let me drag in the correct one. Okay, so this is the clip that I'm going to use. And as you can see right now, you want to record uh, everything in just one take. You don't want to have three takes for three objects. You just want to record the whole thing and make sure that you don't move your camera. So if I play back this video, as you can see right now, I'm placing down my laptop and I'm just letting it, uh, letting it sit there for a couple of seconds. And then in the intro, you guys saw that, I, that it would disappear right now. But when I don't apply any effects on it, you will see that I'm just taking it back away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, when I put down the laptop, as you can see right here, I'm going to cut right here. I'm going to go to the end and you want to make sure that you have a couple of seconds, maybe 20 seconds, just this frame, you know, keep filming about 20 seconds so you can use this footage. I'm going to delete the audio. And what I want to do now is I'm going to make a crossfade on the laptop, as you can see. So I'm going to drag this over it. And when I put down the laptop, as you can see, if I put my hand away, the laptop is disappearing and you will see, still see the table. If you want to make it like um, disappear really slow, just make this crossfade just a little bit longer, as you can see. And then the laptop is uh, disappearing, as you can see. So, so we're going to move on with the next object, which is going to be my microphone. So I'm going to keep, keep in mind this little uh, frame, you know, to make it disappear. Then we're going to go and, you know, and skip to the part where I'm going to put down my microphone. And we're going to also, you know, cut... Uh, put it against this one so I'm gonna place it right here as you can see boom and if you see too much difference just make sure to crossfade it so you won't see it so if I play back this video as you can see it is putting I'm putting down my microphone and it just works exactly the same guys just want to cut right here make sure to uh, crossfade this little piece and as you can see the microphone is also disappearing like so and you want to just repeat that with everything else you have the last thing i have is my iphone uh, i'm going to cut where my arm is going to get into the screen you know put it like so then i'm going to make a crossfade as well and as you can see right now i'm putting down my iphone i'm going to copy this piece already then i'm going to cut right here and then i'm going to press ctrl v and as you can see right now this is my iphone also disappearing and that is basically how to do it guys this is how you make uh, objects disappear so if i play it back in total this is how it looks i'm putting down my laptop as you can see then i'm going to wait a couple of seconds then the crossfade happens then my laptop is disappearing you can do it with anything you have i'm putting down my microphone uh, as you can see right here, then I'm also it, it works the same for the laptop, waiting a couple of seconds, the crossfade happens, and then when the microphone is also out of the screen, you want to make sure that you uh, crossfade your iPhone or your third object. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure to just uh, make the last one crossfade and this is how to do it that is how you make object disappear it's a really small tutorial guys I know but it's not really that difficult to do it and if you want to have like that nice cinematic filter just render everything out as one file then go to this icon the plugin chain uh, and you would pick turquoise glare with letterbox click on add click on ok and as you can see boom it looks really cinematic and that's how I did it with the intro so this is a plugin that is external so it doesn't come with Vegas 14. If you want to see a video how to install color correction presets and plugins, make sure to check out the description. So that is it for this video. I'll catch you guys on Wednesday with a new video about Ricecom, how to add a like Ricecom part three. You guys are all asked for it. And I'm going to actually cover exactly how to make, you know, the Ricecom transitions. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys on Wednesday with a new uh, Vegas 14 tutorial as always. So I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Just Alex Halford.